The fact that there aren't any partisan armies in this game makes Yugoslavia too much of a pushover. That's true. I mean, I, I'm surprised that there's no partisan armies at all. I think Black Ice adds some, like event spawns, partisan armies can show up. But it is very odd that there's no actual like rebel mechanics like in all other Paradox games. Uh, Victoria 2, Hearts of or uh, Paradox 2, Paradox 2, Victoria 2, EU4, CK2. Um, does Imperator have rebels? I don't know. I've only played like five minutes of it. Even Hearts of Iron 3 had partisans, which is strange. Oh no, we actually can only go down one tree. Okay, so let's go down traditional values then. Uh, what is this mod? This mod is essentially just a overhaul of the base game. So it's basically like a lighter version of Black Ice. So it's, a, you know, it's more... The AI is a little bit better. Uh, there's more researches and stuff like that. Uh, there's more countries have focus trees. But it's basically just regular World War II. Just, you know, a little bit uh, more advanced. Uh, enables radio equipment. Don't we already have radio equipment? I thought we already did. Quality management, that's a little while from now. These are 1937 tax. Let's go for... What? What, um, what, what land doctrine should I go with as Yugoslavia? What's the best one for them? We're just gonna get the radio equipment for now. Leadership purchase in the Soviet Union. Not a huge surprise. Okay, so let's improve our infantry equipment by infantry kit 2. Bring Tito, please. Well, we're actually we're going down the fascist route, so I have some bad news for you. Tito's not going to uh, be making an appearance. Maybe if, you know, the Axis gets their shit kicked in by the Soviets, then we can see a little bit of Tito, but... Probably not. I mean, yeah, like what we were saying, it's very weird that there's no there's no partisans in this game at all. All they do is like break factories, which sometimes doesn't even matter if you're a home economy. Like if you're Germany, you can build up Germany so much it doesn't matter what the partisans do outside of Germany. Even though they are really important in both the the French and Yugoslavia, of course. Grand battle plan. You have a lot of mountains, but not much factories to make sport equipment and tanks. Understandable. We got two, four more days for this. So we got 1936. You know, research efficiency. You know what? 10% more research resources will at least get us one more steel from our uh, steel factory or our steel in uh, Morava. We got two more techs here. So let, uh, let's go down a uh, grand battle plan. Trenchment speed, max entrenchment. And it's actually only 140 days. That's actually not too bad. So let's research them also. We're not actually building any planes right now. Which is an issue. Because we probably do want an Air Force at some point. In 1940. We don't have we don't have no armored cars. Early light tanks. Heavy artillery, anti-tank, anti-air. What else is actually in here? We don't have radio research. Let's research radio. Yeah, like, like, partisans basically liberated Yugoslavia on their own with no real outside support, so it's very strange that a World War II simulator would not have that featured at all in the game. Like, the historical outcome of Yugoslavia is just not possible within Hearts of Iron 4. It's an impossibility. Increase factory shifts. What does that do? I mean, that sounds good for us. Uh, put power gain goes down by a little bit. I mean, efficiency growth going up doesn't really matter too much because most of our things are already at cap. Okay, so we got some traditional values. Let's go for... Let's just go for Greater Yugoslavia. We'll, we'll get our CB. We'll get our claims here. Go to the re research infantry so I can see what the weapons look like. Sure. I don't, I think they're just like, uh, default. I don't know if these are specifically Yugoslavian. I think they might just be like the default ones. 
and I'm, I'm assuming that just because there's like no tank models whatsoever, so I'm assuming you saw he's just using the default uh, weapon models. So we're actually gonna do that. Basically, everybody should just join on the Bulgarian front. So maybe we can actually beat Bulgaria. 10 to 16 divisions. We have 22. We do outnumber them. And, you know, it'd be nice to just, you know, expand our borders a little bit. So many partisans that were left in the gap between the Panzer Division and the Infantry Division played a key role in hampering German supplies during Barbarossa. Yeah, again, I'm just surprised that there's no... I mean, Hardfire 3 had Rebels in it. I'm like 99% sure. I'm guessing with the way the front line system works, Partisans just completely broke the AI. Because what would probably happen is like one Partisan would show up in like one tiny province and then the AI would assign like 25 divisions to go kill it. And completely break the front line. At least that's my best guess. Because the AI, you know, the, the, the orders here get really messed up sometimes. I see when you get like an encirclement, like it's like one infantry division, it'll sign like 15 guys to surround it. I'm assuming that's why they're not in the game whatsoever. Uh, infantry, infantry radios, no. We don't need to do any of that right now. Infantry anti-tank actually probably be useful. Entrenchment tools would also be good. I see a lot of stuff in here. Transport planes, marine divisions. Let's get better entrenchment tools. Have some more defense. Ban fascism, ban communism, and suit state uh, censorship. We don't need to worry about that right now. So let's. Maybe we want to get the the fascist demagogue in here because I don't think any of these actually increase fascism support. It just. Military, oh, no, no, it does do military launch coups. I'm assuming it just immediately puts us into the, uh, into fascism. Please invade Albania and Turkey. Well, I'll try. We can probably invade Turkey. I, I'm not going to be... Albania is probably going to fall to Italy. Uh, depending on how quickly they submit to Zog. Or if Zog submits to them. But I think if we attack Albania, won't Italy have a claim to attack us? I believe so, right? Because they get a claim on the, the state itself. Or whoever owns the state. And not on the tag. Uh, this is just a... An up... Like a, uh, a revamped World War II. Uh, it's basically like a smaller version of Black Ice. Uh, and go. With a nice little smiley face after it. Attention five percent. I'm guessing that's just from yeah the Ryland. So we've gotten rid of Yugoslavia. We've claimed Bulgaria. Do you see B against them right now? No. Like I have claims. But I still can't justify a war on them. So never mind. Apparently, that we gotta go down the fascist. Let's go get down to the fascism like right away. It's gonna take uh, do, 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 140, like another 200 days. So around mid 1937. But if that's what it takes to invade Bulgaria, that's what it takes. They have what? They have a handful of divisions on our border. I mean, they're slowly starting to uh, build up an army. Can we even go up to limited conscription? We could, as soon as we get up to... I think a little nice, a nice little bit, bit of bonus for being volunteer only. Penalties are significantly worse, actually, in this mod than in the base game. D. 
the anti-tank division. And let's go for an anti-tank. Name every comment, or name every division, the name of the comments. If you want to have a brigade named after you, sure, why not? Um, I don't know, how do I even rename this? I don't actually know. I don't think I've ever actually renamed anything in this game. Can you rename it? You can name the armies. Yeah, that'll be the Linea Lord Army. So we've crushed them. So yeah, we've got another 140 days until we can actually push our way through. You know, 11 16 visions isn't that bad. I'm sure we can basically just uh, walk straight into them. I mean, there are a handful of balances there, which will suck, but we'll take over Sophia, like, extremely quickly. Like, I'm sure, I'm sure there's a way to rename the divisions on an individual scale, but I don't know how. We got Exhibition 1 finished. Let us go. I mean, it's 1937 now, so we can actually get some other stuff done. Let's go Construction 2. What do you do? Uh, support battalions will require radios. Let's just keep making our industry better. I want it to be as strong as possible. What borders do I want? That's a great question. Um... I mean, it would be nice to have Albania. The, Albania would make the borders look a lot nicer for, like, Yugoslavia, Bulgaria, Greece, Albania, and then, um, Istanbul. Or, uh, Thra this is Thrace, right? You know, like, the nice, complete southern... I, mean, I guess you can maybe add Romania in that, too, but I'm pretty sure Romania is... Yeah, they're going for rural dictatorships, so they're definitely going to be joining the, uh, the Axis. Chances are we're not going to be able to actually put them into our... Or, uh, state. But we'll probably get the, you know, at least Bulgaria and Greece into there. Hungary, uh, secures remaining support for rearmament. Without consulting us, Romanian government has signed a treaty with Hungary, altering or removing restrictions from the Treaty of Ternat. Uh, Hungary is now allowed to rearm freely and develop in all matters of military equipment, including tanks and planes. Um, all Romanian lead. I mean, they're probably going to go fascist. We're going fascist. Romania is probably going to join them. Will you try to gain colonies? Uh, probably not. I mean, I guess they're not. They're, they aren't Slavic. They're, uh... They're like one of the, the romance languages. So we got another 90 days. Getting 1% recruit population would be nice. We're only at 2% right now. That would essentially double our total manpower. Or not double, it would increase by 50%. To so about 400,000, roughly. Which would be nice. Okay, we actually have uh, built our civilian factories. Let's build more... Yeah. Let's build a shit ton in this province. We got a 70% research bonus there. Which is quite nice. What are you? Conserve supplies. Uh, speed goes down, but supply consumption goes down. Not bad. Apparently all of our guys are extremely green right now. Not great. Is there anything else I can do in here? Uh, not really. Please go away. War propaganda, air defense for cities. That was just, uh, we'll just join the Axis right away. Did France get reworked? Uh, they do have a new tree. Uh, this is definitely different than, I think, the base game. 
It's, I feel like um, they've removed a lot of the alternative history where you can basically just go down. Like, France can normally join many different factions. But I think right now they can basically only go down and um, ally with Britain. They can't do, like, the little Entente, I don't believe. And they can't, you know, go uh, communist or fascist like they can in the base game. So we got our anti-tank weapons. Was there any other basic weapons ready in 1937? The answer to that question is no. Go 1938. Pack artillery, regular artillery. We should at least get armored cars. Even if we're not building any of them right now, they'll probably be useful in the future. We'll need so many things. Our troops won't even start all the way reinforced. Which is extremely bad. We need 98. How long do we actually have enough guns? About two years. Excellent. How many guns are we making right now? We're making four guns a day. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Another research bonus speed. Electronic research speed. Well, if we're going to be attacking Bulgaria somewhat soon... Apparently we can just put... It's just... Let's get the army fence guy. Unless there's somebody better in here, there might be. Uh, attrition... No, you're all not helping me out at all. Um, armor speed. Let's just go for 10% attack. That sounds like a great time to me. So our manpower is kind of low. That is an issue. I should have gone up to limited conscription. Why did I not do that? In hindsight, that was the obvious thing to do. But, you know, we'll just wait until we get uh, our political power back up. Hindenburg disaster. A sad day for everybody. So I'm, I'm hoping this turns us fascist. So right now we're with an anti-German military, but that's going to change extremely soon. So get as many infantry equipment kit twos as you can. Just because apparently we were missing so many rifles. We're having a sad time. Anderson Divisions. I mean, the manpower is fine on those guys. The manpower is not a huge issue, so let's... I'm just surprised that it only gives us claims. You think it would just let us attack Bulgaria right away? Instead of having us uh having us wait. We got three days left on this. German Reich welcomes us to the Axis powers. Um we stand with our decision. Oh, we'll just have a civil war. Excellent. Central Macedonia, we can claim Macedonia. Okay, so apparently we are having a nice little civil war right away, which is not what I was really expecting, but here we are now. Uh, put you in charge under this field marshal. How many troops do you have? You have 8 to 18 divisions. I have 9. I'm just going to immediately deploy this one troop because I feel like we need everything we can get. Hey, Germany, you want to, like, help me out in this war? Also, I will be right back extremely quickly.
There we go. It's just extremely hot in this room right now. It's not a fun time. So I guess it's Civil War time. You know, not what I was expecting. You'll still have you showing the Axis powers. Let's go down to speed three, please. Japan's clear war on China. Insufficient resources. So we need some chromium. But we'll take that back, you know, in the future. Um, still building our factories in Bosnia. Germany, do you want to, like, help me out here? You cannot call on allies when you're not the leader. Really? Well, that's just annoying. How many troops do they have? I mean, they might have more divisions than we do. Which is really just going to put a hamper on things. These nerds in their democracy over here. Marco Polo Bridge incident. We got light infantry here. We got some cavalry divisions. Like, I don't know why I was, I was just not expecting a, uh, I was not expecting a civil war. Like, we could be even, or we could be out heavily outnumbered. It's one or the other. Apparently, actually, doesn't even change your factions. You just still stay not aligned. Which is a bit silly, if you ask me. Let's counter back into this guy. Do we have enough men to cover all of our fronts? I don't think so. Well, he's trying to get over there, but I don't think he's going to get there in time. Research armored car, you know, I mean, that's nice, but probably is not super uh, meaningful right now. Oh, don't research transfer plan. What are you doing? Research uh, grand battle plan. Prepare to move your way south. Okay, so trying to counterattack in us. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Uh, I see eleven troops on their side, which again is more than my ten. I'll keep pushing into you. I mean, our defense values are nice. I mean, that's one thing you can say, but it's kind of going eh. How, how dare they go against my will, all these people over here. Yeah, there's two divisions over there now. So yeah, they, they definitely outnumber us. Which isn't great. War propaganda. Improve land defenses. Give some more propaganda. Will that actually really do anything for us, though? Attack and defense on core territory. You know what? That's the entire area. All of Yugoslavia's core territory, I'm pretty sure at least. Like, this should be a core state, yeah. We've almost pushed our way through this one mountaineering division. You're taking a little bit of attrition, but that's fine. You know, don't even train these troops then. We'll just let that, the, the gun stuff reinforce our main armies because they are going to need some reinforcement. How long until you can actually reach that province? It's going to take you 22 hours. Okay, not too, too bad. You're probably going to lose this position. Which is not helpful. Um, Instruction 3... Hundred sixty three days, you know what that's not even that bad. And we probably need it more than we need any of the industry techs right now. 
Play Macedonia. 1% recruited population? Yes, please. Let me get let me get that right now. Chinese United Front. You're definitely gonna fall back. Can you fall back to that province? You can. You're gonna have to. We have really no choice there. Unfortunately. Okay, you're gonna take a whole year. Just research these guns. Try to get a little bit better. Yeah, they do just basically straight up outnumber us, which isn't great. Yeah, at least fall back behind this river. Are they all going to leave Belgrade? They are. Wait, no, what? Don't, don't do that. Wait until I'm. When do you leave? You leave in 15 hours, and then we can counterattack. Or wait, no, we can't. Okay, you're gonna be leaving Belgrade soon. You just stop attacking for right now. Like, we don't have enough. We don't really have enough troops to really push in. Which is just disappointing. Um. Garrison troops, light cavalry divisions. So maybe. Again, they're attacking us. These two guys really aren't doing anything. I mean, we're they're attacking the mountains, which is not great for us. I think they might just have like too many men. I don't think we're actually gonna really be able to break through this. Unfortunately. You know, we're attacking over the night. The terrain is bad. We're crossing a river. We're having a lot of issues right now. They're putting a lot of pressure onto this front, uh, front up here in the north. The death toll is about even right now. 7k on each side. That's about half organization. I mean, could we, like, force attack? We might have to. See if we can maybe dislodge this one uh, troop here. I mean, our attacks are still extreme. Like, the defense is still really, really high. Which is absolutely an issue for us. We might slowly win that. We push them through one province here. Which doesn't necessarily tell us anything. They're probably still in a bad spot. Yeah, they're all trying to cross the river here. You're not even a great troop right now. It'd be really nice, Germany, if I could, like, call you into the war. You cannot call an ally when you're not the war leader. Why not? Join the... Help me out, Germany. You son of a bitch. Well, what are you doing? No, you stay back here, please. Do these problems not connect? No, they don't. Okay. Well, I guess you go up here then. You know, we might as well just walk to the other side of the river. For as much defense as possible. If we're going to lose this territory, we might as well just uh, keep going. I mean, we could maybe counterattack, but... I don't know if that's really going to work at all. I even thought about like me doing like a naval invasion over here, but I don't think that's really gonna do anything either. I'm guessing do they have more planes than I do? Yeah, they took a majority of the planes, which is not great. We only had like 20, so the plane situation is not looking so hot. 
they, they've actually almost killed my uh, tank division, which is not excellent. Okay, we got one guy low organization right here. Maybe we can push our way through. Tank, you come over here. Onto this side. You know, you go. No, please. Don't do that. Go here, and then go there, and then go try to maybe like reinforce in this front right there. You can push him out, right? Just push him out of that province. But also, don't get flanked, which is going to be an issue. You fall back behind the river. I mean, attacking over here doesn't really do anything for us, though, does it? I don't think so. Apparently, I'm also still anti German military. I lost all of my other bonuses, though, doing this. It's a German's anti-German. Oh wait, we should we should have uh, resolved this, huh? First, how do you get rid of the anti-German sentiment? You know what? I probably screwed this up, didn't I? Probably would actually. You know, it makes probably more sense. Can I like? I don't think I I didn't save at all, have I? No, I did not save even a little bit. It's not great. So we probably have to restart the entire uh, campaign again. Just because, well, that wasn't really working out for us, was it? Unfortunately.